Welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Baseball today. Hopkinton welcomes in the Medfield Warriors. The Warriors 5 and 2 on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers 2 and 4. And today it is Little League Day at the ballpark as the Hillers players getting together with some of the Hopkinton Little Leaguers. And last week they just had the Little League Parade to open up the season and you can find footage of the Little League Parade on our website hcam.tv and the Little Leaguers today will have an opportunity to run around the base paths as well. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call for what should be a great TVL matchup between Medfield and Hopkinton. We'll take a look at the Medfield lineup followed by the Hopkinton Diamond. Medfield is led by head coach Matt Marangi, who is in his ninth season at the helm for the Medfield Warriors. The Hillers, of course, led by Jay Golden. Let's take a look at the Medfield lineup. Batting first, playing second base is Jarrett Lee. London Johnson will bat second and play right field. Dean Adams will bat third and play left field. The DH and cleanup hitter is Josh Hirschfeld. Pitcher Ryan Schwar will bat fifth. The first baseman is Sam Chapin batting sixth. Playing center field batting seventh is George Sawan. Batting eighth playing third base is Peter Vigenti. And James Voss rounds out the lineup playing shortstop. The odd man out is catcher Will Bento. As for the Hopkinton Hillers diamond, they have Mike Messier doing the catching today for starting pitcher Alex Cohen. Cal Holland will play first base. Kyle Halloran will be at second. Matt Decina, the shortstop. Jack Vacari over at third base. From left to right, it's Alex Reynolds, Drew Donahue in center, and Drew Simi, the right fielder. As now you see the Little Leaguers greeting the Hopkinton High School baseball team and in uh, about 10 years, a lot of these Little Leaguers will be wearing the Hillers uniforms. As it is the annual Little League Day here at the Hopkinton High School field to start off this game between Medfield and Hopkinton. And the Hillers, they've had some tough breaks lately. Their last game was a tough loss to Dover Sherborne. It was the last broadcast we had for you on HCAM. The Hillers have been at home all week. They started off the week on Monday with a walk-off win against Ashland. And they took that game 4-3. to three. And then just a tough loss to Dover Sherborne last Wednesday. 5-3 to three was the final in that game. As pitcher Owen Webb for Dover Sherborne just had a tremendous start. And right now we'll let you take a glimpse of some of the Little Leaguers who are going to throw out some of the first pitches for today's game. So we'll turn our attention to the field. And I think based on some of those throws, you can see a few future Hopkinton Hiller High School team players there. Some good arms out there from some of the Little Leaguers. As we are just about set to get this game started off, the Hiller is hoping to pull off the upset here and get back in the swing of things and a win against a team like Medfield could certainly help the Hillers get back into the swing of things. A couple of tough breaks to start off the season. The Hillers were on the road for the majority of the first week. A lot due in part because of the marathon ceremonies. And a lot of the marathon setup was here on the baseball field. 
the good thing that came out of that is green sand was used to melt the snow and the ice off the baseball field. So the Hillers got their establishment back a little bit before everybody else as the Hillers have taken the field and we are just about set for baseball. And it is certainly some allergy or allergen filled air out there. And the allergies are affecting me a bit, but it is a nice day here this afternoon at Hopkinton High School. A little bit chilly and a little bit windy, but the temperature has jumped up to 57 degrees today. There's about an eight mile an hour wind coming from the northeast. So not bad conditions for baseball at all as it is the first day of May and temperatures almost getting to the 60s. But the Hillers are set to go as starter Alex Cohen has taken the mound. And in just a moment, I'll get you the pitching stats to Alex Cohen who's making his first start this year. He's been a relief pitcher up to this point, but getting the call in the rotation for the senior pitcher. And so far on the season, Alex Cohen has a 467 ERA in three innings worked. He's given up three hits and two runs, both of them earned, and has struck out two. As we are set for baseball, and leading off for Medfield is the second baseman, Jarrett Lee, a sophomore, at a 316 on this season, six for 19 overall at the plate, has scored nine runs and driven in three. As Alex Cohen is set to deal. Mike Messier behind the plate. He's done a great job defensively. As Lee steps in and awaits the pitch. The lineup and the pitch. In there for a strike. Oh and one on Lee. Cohen to the set. That's in the dirt, one and one. Wind up and the pitch, a little bit low. And it'll be interesting seeing how Cohen proceeds throughout this game. It might take some transitioning. Keep in mind the senior not used to getting the start on the mound. Cohen set to deliver. That's down low, three and one. The three game weeks are always tough because that forces you to go to that third starter. Cohen with the leg left and the pitch. There's a strike, three and two. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field. That'll drop in for a base hit. And Lee is aboard with a single. And that will bring up London Johnson. Cohen from the stretch. Wind up and the pitch inside for a ball. One and o, one and o count. Runner leading a bit off of first. And this is a bud down the first baseline onto the infield grass throw to first in time, but they push the runner up. 
So runner in scoring position for Medfield. Medfield a pretty good team at uh, manufacturing runs. So one away in the inning and Messier going to head out to talk to Cohen about what to do with Dean Adams. Adams a senior at a 522 on the season, 12 for 23 at the plate. He has driven in two. Takes the first pitch up high. Has scored nine times. Very good hitter. Probably one of the uh, premier hitters in the TVL. Cohen from the stretch. Wind up and the pitch. And there's ball two. Two and O. Oh. Runner on second with one out. Cohen from the stretch awaits the sign. Wind up and the pitch. And this is tattooed in the left field. That'll drop down for a hit. A run is going to be waved around. A throw in is going to be cut off. And it's one to nothing Medfield on an RBI single by Dean Adams. Jerry Lee comes around to score, and that'll bring up Josh Hirschfeld, the DH. Hirschfeld a senior, and believe it or not, even a better average than Dean Adams, a 579 on the season. 11 for 19 overall at the plate, eight RBIs. And there's a strike, and has scored six runs. Very good hitting lineup for the Warriors. Cohen awaits the sign, runner leading off of first. Delivers, runner takes off, there's strike two. That is a stolen base for Adams. So runner on second with one out. Cohen set for the pitch. Delivers, that's strike three, but it gets by Messier and the runner is going to be safe on the pass ball. A tough break, but that'll put runners at the corners for Medfield. And now Ryan Schwar, the pitcher, will come up to the, he's at an 8.33 on the season, but this is his only seventh appearance at the plate. Five for six overall at the plate. Has scored two runs, driven in three. But has hit a home run as well this year. A lot of power. As Cohen set to deal. And there's a strike. Schwar, a junior for Medfield. Cohen awaits the side. Line up and the pitch, and there's a strike. One and one. Cohen set to deal. There's a nasty breaking ball for a strike, and Schwar goes down looking. Two away. It'll bring up Sam Chapin, the first baseman. Chapin, a senior at a 286. As the lefty steps in and awaits the pitch. That is just low, 1 0. Chapin has scored four times and driven in three. Cohen to the set, just outside. Two and O. Cohen from the stretch. Line up and the pitch. There's strike one. Two and one count with runners at the corners. Two outs in the inning. Top half of the first, a one nothing midfield lead. Cohen set to deal. That is in the dirt, gets by Messier. The run's gonna attempt to score, and Messier will not get to home plate in time. 
Messier hesitated. And Dean Adams came around on the pass ball. And it's 2-0. As you're hesitating to get to the plate, as Chapin will step back in. Runner from first advanced to second. That pitch down low, good block by Messier, but that is a walk. And I'll bring up George Sawan, the center fielder. <coughs> and he hits this in the air towards right center. And ranging over to make the catch is Drew Simi. And that will be the third out of the inning, but not before Medfield plates two runs. It's 2 nothing Warriors heading to the bottom of the first. The Hopkinton Hillers set to come to the plate for their first time today. Let's take a look at the Hillers lineup. The leadoff man is Kyle Halloran, the second baseman. Jack Vacari batting second, playing third. Matt Tessina playing short, batting third. Drew Simi playing right field. He's the cleanup man. Drew Donahue, the center fielder, batting fifth. Cal Holland batting sixth, playing first base. Alex Reynolds batting seventh, playing left field. Evan Park, the DH, batting eighth. And Mike Messier, the catcher, batting ninth for the Hillers. And now for the Medfield Diamond, Ryan Schwar is the pitcher today. He will be throwing to Will Bento behind the plate. Sam Chapin over at first base, Jarrett Lee, the second baseman. James Voss, the shortstop. Peter Vigentic, a third baseman. From left to right, it's Dean Adams, London Johnson, and George Sawan in right field. Ryan Shore on the season has a four ERA. He has pitched only seven innings so far this year. He's given up eight hits, four runs, all four of them earned. He has struck an out six. But this is really his only second start of the season. Shore, a good all around athlete. And a key part of this Medfield team in his junior year. And is well known for his bat as well. As we are set for the bottom of the first, Kyle Halloran stepping to the plate for the Hillers. The lineup and the pitch is up high. Kyle Halloran, a junior at a 308 mark on the season. Four for 13 at the plate. On the ground, up the middle, played by the second baseman. Throw to first, and there is one away. A four to three ground out to start things off for Halloran. And that will bring up Jack Vacari. Vacari, also a junior. At a 500 mark on the season. Six for 12 at the plate. Has scored three times, driven in five. <laughs> Excuse me. Shore delivers. In there for a strike. <laughs> Allergies, certainly a factor for this broadcast. Leg lift and the pitch. Inside. One and one. Shore awaits the sign and delivers. Hit in the air, foul. One and two. Shore delivers. On the ground, first base side, played by the second baseman. Throw to first, two away. Another four to three ground out, and that'll bring up Matt Decina. Matt 
at Decina playing only in his second game of the season. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. The lefty is set to deliver. That is just outside, one and one. Lefty shakes off the sign. Schwar delivers. There's a strike, grabs the outer corner, one and two. Schwar to the set. That is hit foul. Count remains one and two. And head coach of the Ashland Legion team, Dan Sullivan in attendance today. Also an assistant with the football team. He's getting a look at some of his future team this game as DeSena gets plunked with that pitch and gets a free pass to first base. And that will bring up Drew Simi, the right fielder. Simi a junior at a 462 on the season, six for 13 at the plate, has driven in six runs, has four doubles. And this is hit in the air, high in the air, towards shallow right field, ranging under it to make the catch is Cohen. Uh, Sawan, excuse me. And that is the third out of the inning. And we will head to the top half of the second. Medfield leading Hopkinton two to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Westboro Pest Control. We treat your home like it's our home. Have a problem with ants, bedbugs, fleas, and ticks, hornets, mice, termites, roaches, spiders, bats, squirrels, or yellow jackets? Call Westboro Pest Control at 508-366-1820 or find them online at WPCPest.com. As we are set for the top half of the second inning, Alex Cohen out there for another inning of work. Due up for Medfield is Peter Vigentic, James Voss, and Jared Lee. Medfield off to an early two to nothing lead. As Cohen is set to deliver. The lineup and the pitch down low. The senior, Peter Vigentic. Three for six at the plate. Falls that one into the backstop. A one and one count. <laughs> As that pitch is a ball, two and one. This is Vigentic's fifth game of the season. Cohen winds and deals. That's followed behind the backstop, two and two. Cohen set to deal. Hit in the air towards shallow right field. That'll drop in for a base hit in front of Drew Simi. Man on first to start off the second for Medfield. James Voss now coming to the plate. Voss is a sophomore. Has only played in two games. Is 0 for 1 at the plate. Cohen from the stretch. Line up and the pitch. And that is bunted foul. An 0-1 count on Voss. Hey, 
Cohen awaits the sign, working from the stretch. Runner leading off of first, delivers. A bun is in fair territory. Grass in front of the mound, throw to second, not. And it pulled uh, Halloran off the bag, so Vigentic reaches safely. And Voss reaches safely to first, so two men on, no outs. And that'll bring up Gerald Lee. And if you think about what has happened so far defensively for Hopkinton, just a lot of unlucky breaks. Lee hit a single and scored a run in the first inning. The windup and the pitch is down low. Nice job by Messier keeping it in front. <coughs> Cohen set to deal from the stretch. The windup and the pitch. And this is crushed in a left field. That'll drop in for a hit. One run being waved around. The other runners will hold. It's a 3-0 game in favor of Medfield. An RBI single for Jared Lee as Peter Vigentic scores. James Voss moves up to second, and that'll bring up London Johnson. Johnson had a sacrifice ground out in the first inning. Coach Golden going to have a chat with Alex Cohen and Mike Messier. And don't be surprised if the Hillers start getting an arm warm soon. Still no outs in the inning. Cohen to the set. And this is hit in the air and foul. Big crowd on hand today here at the Hillers baseball field. As it is Little League Day. Cohen set to deal, runners leading off the bags. This is hit in the left field, but there to make the catch is Reynolds and the runners will hold. A nice job by Reynolds, had to battle the sun a bit, but gets the first out of the inning. And that will bring up Dean Adams, who had an RBI single in the first inning, which scored Jarrett Lee. Cohen awaits the sign. Runners leading. And this is hit into shallow left center, and that'll drop in for a hit. One run being waved around, and he will score, and then the runners will hold. So Voss comes around for the fourth medfield run. Jarrett Lee over at third, an RBI single for Dean Adams. <coughs> and now Josh Hirschfeld comes to the plate. This is a tough first game to start for Cohen. It's his first start of the year. And you're battling one of the best lineups in the TVL as the runner takes off from first. Messier holds the throw. Adams with the stolen bag. And if Messier threw that, you better bet that Jarrett Lee would have been sent home. So nice job by Messier. Cohen set the deal. On the ground, and that'll get through the glove of Halloran, and another Medfield run will score. An RBI single for Hirschfeld. Jarrett Lee comes around, and it's five to nothing, Medfield. And now Ryan Schwer, the pitcher, will come to the plate. Only one out in the inning. Righty Cohen awaits the sign, brushes off the first one, and now set to deliver. In there for a strike. Cohen to the set. Runner taking off from first. Hit in the air towards right field. And now the runner will tag and score. So it was caught for the out, but a sacrifice RBI fly out for sure. 
as Adams comes around to score. It's six to nothing Medfield. Here comes Sam Chapin to the plate. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. Josh Hirschfeld over at first. Going from the stretch. And time called. Line up and the pitch in there for a strike. Oh and two on Chapin. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Hopkinton Hiller's baseball and H Cam, a six nothing lead for Medfield on the, on the top of the second as that pitch up high. Bob Hamilton on camera. Allergy riddled Tom Nappy on the broadcast. As Cohen set to deal, swinging strike. And that will do it for the top half of the second, but Medfield plates four more runs. It's six nothing Warriors heading to the bot bottom of the inning. <laughs> oh, I was trying to hold in the car. Bottom half of the second inning, due up for Hopkinton, Drew Donahue, Cal Holland, and Alex Reynolds to face Ryan Shore. Medfield off to a six nothing advantage. The wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. Oh and one on Donahue. Hit in the air, foul. Drew Donahue is one for 14 at the plate. Struggling to start off the season. Time called. Lined up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul, 0-2. Shore likes to sign and deals up high. One and two. Wind up and the pitch down low. Two and two count on Donahue. Shore shakes off the first, uh, first sign and now delivers. Swinging strike. And there is one out in the inning as Cal Holland will come to the plate. It's the first strikeout of the game for Ryan Shore. Cal Holland at a 143 mark at the plate. Hit in the air, foul. Shore. Shakes off the sign and now set to deal. Just high. One and one. Oh, 
Line up and the pitch. Beauty of a breaking ball, one and two. Shore to the set. Just high, two and two. No warm up action yet for the Hillers. Despite trailing six nothing so far. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Don't forget if you want a copy of an HCAM sporting event or any other event that we have filmed, give us a call at 508-435-7887 or find us online at hcam.tv. The windup and the pitch. Hit in the air foul. Count remains two and two on Holland. Shore delivers. There's ball three. Shore to the set. Swinging strike. Second straight strikeout for Shore. Say that three times fast. Alex Reynolds will come to the plate now. Reynolds a sophomore, two for 11 so far at the plate. First pitch is in there, 0 and 1. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled into the backstop, 0-2. Oh sure set the deal. Upstairs. Wind picking up here at Hopkinton High School. Line up and the pitch up high. Two and two. It's always windy over here at these fields. It's been all season long so far. And this is hit third base side. Fielded by the third baseman. Throw to first, not a problem as Vigentic gets the job done. A 6-3 ground out. A 1-2-3. Bottom half of the second to the top of the third we go. 6-0 Medfield. You're taking a look at the Little Leaguers. They're going to get a chance to run around the diamond. we will start at first base and... Go around the bases as it is Little League Day here at Hopkinton High School. The Little Leaguers just kicked off their season with their annual parade. The first games have already started. And now one of their favorite traditions, running around the high school diamond. Where probably a lot of these kids will be playing someday. And one by one they'll go. A lot of their parents here in support.
there you go. That wraps up the Little League run around the bases. And we are just about set for the top half of the third inning. Due up for Medfield on the top half of the third is George Sawan, Peter Vegetic, and James Voss. Sawan 0 for 1 so far at the plate. As he is set to step in to face Alex Cohen out there for his third inning of work, a 6-0 Medfield lead. Wind up and the pitch on the ground, up the middle and into center field for a base hit. There's a single for the center fielder. Now Peter Vigentic will come to the plate. He is one for one, scored a run in the second. Now Cal Holland gonna come over from first base, try to give Alex Cohen some words of encouragement. Cohen working from the stretch. Swinging strike. Oh and one. Check it at first, runner back safe. Gentic four for seven at the plate this season. That pitch in the dirt, runner takes off from first and advances on the wild pitch. So runner in scoring position for Medfield. Light up and the pitch, up high. Cohen to the set, in there for a strike. Two and two. Runner leading off of second. Check swing, couldn't hold, and he is tagged out for the K. One away, that'll bring up James Voss. One for one today. Hit a single and scored a run last inning. <laughs> Excuse me. Cohen from the stretch. Gets the sign he likes. And delivers. Fouled away right side. From the stretch, inside. One in, one on Voss. Runner leading off of second. Cohen steps off. Line up and the pitch, runner taking off, hit into left center and that'll fall into the glove of Reynolds. Runner will stay at second. Two away for Jarrett Lee and a runner on second. Lee's having a nice day, two for two. Two singles and an RBI, two runs scored. Runner back to the bag after Cohen checks second. Cohen from the stretch delivers and he plunks Lee. Right in the back. So two runners on with two outs for London Johnson. 
And then Johnson 0 for 1 with a sacrifice in the first. There is warm up action for the Hillers. Over in the bullpen area, it's Mo Hussein. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air to left field. That'll drop in for a hit. A run is going to be waved around and bobbling it out in left field is Reynolds. A second run will be waved around and it's eight to nothing Medfield. Two RBI double for London Johnson. And Swan and Lee both come around. And Cohen's gonna stay in the game. That'll bring up Dean Adams. That's a little bobble out there in left field by Reynolds. Could be considered an error. Johnson leading off of second, pitch up high. And this has happened a couple times today where the Hillers get two outs. It looks like they're gonna get out of the inning. And then a base hit will change things. From the stretch, on the ground, third base side, picked up by the third baseman and he will tag the runner. And that will be the third out of the inning, but not before Medfield plates two more runs. It's eight nothing heading to the bottom of the third. <laughs> bottom of the third, due up for the Hillers, Evan Park, Mike Messier, and Kyle, Hall Kyle Halloran, excuse me, to face Ryan Schwar. <coughs> Pitch on the ground right back to Schwar and he will have a little toss to first for the easy out. Mike Messier will come up to the plate. His first at bat this game. Messier on the season is hitless so far in nine appearances at the plate. There's a strike. Be interesting to see if Cohen comes back out next inning. They had Muhammad Hussain warming up in the warm up area last game. Wind up and the pitch is down low. Shore awaits the sign. Fouled away. One and two on Messier. Leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike, two away. It's the third strikeout of the game for Schwar. That'll bring up Kyle Halloran. Shore to the set. Hit in the air, foul. Oh, and one. <coughs> Shore set to deliver upstairs. One and one. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike, one and two. Shore delivers, 
On the ground, first base side, played by the second baseman, Lee. Easy throw to first, and that'll do it, a 1-2-3. Bottom of the third, we head to the top of the fourth, eight nothing, Medfield. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentists at Hopkinton, located at 77 Main Street, providing comprehensive dental care for clients of all ages, from childhood through adult in a comfortable and relaxed setting. Find them online at hopdent.com. A new pitcher for the Hopkinton Hillers, Muhammad Hussein into the game, making his first appearance on the mound this season. Alex Cohen was the starter. It was his first start of the season. He went three total innings, giving up nine hits, eight runs, seven earned, one walk and two strikeouts. As due up for Medfield is Josh Hirschfeld, the designated hitter. Josh Hirschfeld, Ryan Schwarr, and Sam Chapin due up. A pretty powerful part of this Medfield batting order. First pitch is a strike. One thing I noticed about Hussein warming up, throws a lot of different kinds of breaking pitches, some good movement on his breaking pitches. There he's gonna throw a little bit of a slider down low, one and one. Also has that sidearm delivery. Hussein set the deal. That is hit, foul, one and two. Hussein to the set. And this is hit in the air towards center field, towards the fence, and caught. Drew Donahue makes the catch, one out. And that'll bring up Ryan Shore. Muhammad Hussein, a junior for the Hillers. Delivers a foul tip, 0 and 1. Sane has some pretty good movement on his pitches. Might be an interesting pitcher to watch in the games to come. That is just inside, 1 and 1. Hussein set to deal. There's strike two. Sane working fast. That's just low. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Full count on Schwar. Wind up and the pitch. Foul tip, good battle here. For those of you just joining us, it's Hopkinton Hillers baseball on H cam. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the broadcast. Top of the fourth, eight nothing Medfield lead. The Hillers on their second pitcher of the game. And this is a little bloop shot, roller on the infield grass. Picked up by Vakari, throw to first is not in time. So a single for Schwar. That took a couple of awkward bounces. And now Sam Chapin coming to the plate. 0 for 1 today, walked in the first. Struck out in the second as the lefty steps in. Hussein from the stretch delivers up high and outside, 1 and 0. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike. Jimmy. 
One and one. To the set. On the ground, fair territory as it takes a couple rolls on the grass. Hussein flips the first, gets one. Shore advances the second on the one to three. That'll bring up George Swan. Hussein taking a moment to tie up his cleat. Swan is one for two today, singled in the third and scored a run. Messi are gonna come out and talk with Hussein. Hussein from the stretch, the righty set to deliver. Runner leading off of second, upstairs. One and O. Oh. And that pitch just inside. Two and O. Oh. Hussein to the set, upstairs. Three and O oh count. Line up in the pitch, and that is just outside. Swan draws the walk. Peter Vigenti will now come to the plate, one for two with an RBI, uh, with a run and a single in the second inning, struck out in the third. Two runners on, two outs. Four Medfield in the top of the fourth. That pitch in there for a strike. Vigentic had a 500 on the season at the plate. He's had eight at-bats, and he will hit this into center field. There to make the catch is Drew Donahue, and that will retire the side. On the top half of the fourth, so how about that? Hussein comes in, pitches a clean inning. We head to the bottom of the fourth, 8 nothing Medfield. Bottom of the fourth inning, due up for Hopkinton, Jack Bakari, Matt Decina, Andrew Simi, the second, third, and fourth hitters in the lineup. They will face Ryan Shore. Hillers trailing eight to nothing. Shore is set to deliver. And this is hit foul, 0 and 1. Leg lift and the pitch, that is inside. Wind picking up even a little bit more as we enter the later ratings. Shore set to deal, and there's a strike. Shore awaits the sign. Lined up and the pitch on the ground and fielded by the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Bakari goes four to three for the first out of the inning. And now Matt Decina will come up. He got hit by a pitch his last time up in the first. Shore to the set, and that's a strike. Inside, 
Wind up and the pitch. That is just low, one and one. Strike two. Decino waits the pitch. Shore delivers. Tipped foul. Bento, the catcher, going to have a word with his pitcher. Discuss what to do here on Matt Decina. Shore gets the sign and delivers. Upstairs. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul towards the left side. Lefty steps back in the box. Shore with the leg lift and the pitch, and this is hit in the air towards left field. Running in to make the catch is Dean Adams for the second out. Now bring up Drew Simi. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Shore to the set. On the ground, left side, played by the third baseman, throw to first in time, a beauty. Of a throw from Peter Vigentic, a 1 2 3. Bottom of the fourth, we head to the top of the fifth, 8 0 Medfield. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by Westboro Pest Control. We treat your home like it's our home. Have a problem with ants, bed bugs, or any kind of other insects? Call them at 508 366 1820 or find them online at wpcpest.com. That's Westboro Pest Control. As we are set to enter the fifth inning, Muhammad Hussein out there for another inning of work. And he will face James Voss to start things off in the fifth. First pitch is just outside, 1 and 0. Oh. 8 0 lead for Medfield. To the set. Down low. There's a strike. On the ground, up the middle, fielded that short, throw to first, not a problem. 6-3 ground out for the first out. And I'll bring up Jarrett Lee. And you might have found a uh, pretty decent pitcher here in uh, 
Muhammad Hussein that can come in in relief or perhaps maybe even start for you down the road. As that pitch up high, there is warm up action in the Hillers bullpen area. So far so good for Hussein. There's a strike. One and one. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Hussein work, is a fast working pitcher. That's fouled away. That is hit foul. To the set. Down low. On the ground, up the middle, and through the legs of the shortstop. Got right through Decina's legs, and that's a single. London Johnson will come to the plate. That took an awkward bounce as well. Looks like it took an awkward bounce just before it got towards Decina. Hussein working from the stretch. Inside. 1 0 count. Runner leading a bit off of first. That's up high, 2 0. Sane to the set. Delivers. Foul tip. Two and one. One out in the inning. Runner on first. Zane from the stretch. And this is hit into right field, and that will get down for a hit. And there will be runners at the corners with one out. Dean Adams will come to the plate. Adams one for a two for three today. A couple singles and a couple RBIs. Runner takes off from first. The throw is not going to get there in time. Almost got into center field. Nice cover up by Halloran. Stolen base for Johnson. The 1 0 pitch upstairs. Excuse me, 1 and 1 now. Still only one out in the inning. An opportunity here for Medfield to put this game in danger of the mercy rule. On the ground, up the middle, Decina will field. Throw to first, they get one, and a run will score. So sacrifice, RBI sacrifice ground out for Dean Adams. Drives in Jarrett Lee, it's nine to nothing Medfield. London Johnson pushes up to third. Now the cleanup hitter, Josh Hirschfeld, at the plate. 
There's a strike, 0-1. Oh the leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air. That'll drop into center field. It's 10-0 Medfield, an RBI single for Hirschfeld. That'll bring up Ryan Shore. Runner leading off of first, Hussain deals. And there's a strike. So far, Shore is one for three. Actually, one for two at a sacrifice RBI fly out in the second. Saying to the set, there's strike two. Oh, and two. To the set, down low. Messier covers it up and keeps it in front. Wind up in the pitch. That's fouled past the backstop. Count remains one and two. Chris McGrory due to pinch hit. Shall Shore reach. And that pitch just outside. Two and two. Hussain awaits the side. Swinging strike, and that'll do it. 10 to nothing, heading to the bottom of the fifth inning in favor of Medfield. Set for the bottom of the fifth inning, a 10 nothing Medfield lead. Drew Donahue, Cal Holland, Alex Reynolds do up. As Donahue will step to the plate. Ryan Shore out there for his fifth inning of work has pitched a gem of a ball game so far. And right now the Hopkinton Hillers have been held hitless. The wind up and the pitch is up high. Only one Hiller has reached base all game. That was Matt Decina when he was hit by a pitch in the first. That pitch up high. Sure, to the set. And another pitch up high, three and oh. Having a little trouble getting his fastball down in the zone. Leg lift and the pitch. Here's strike one. Three and one. There's strike two. And Donahue draws the walk. Cal Holland now coming to the plate. Donahue leading, swinging strike. Right. 
Pinch hitter on deck for the Hillers, Sam Lehman. And the runner takes off the throw to first. And they thought they had him picked off, trying to throw to second, not in time. Donahue with the stolen bag. It's a runner in scoring position for the Hillers. As they try to keep this game alive, trailing 10 to nothing. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit up the middle. And the runner is going to be held up at third as it will be thrown in. And it is a single for Holland. He advances to second after the throw in. So two aboard with no outs for Sam Lehman. Hiller's fighting to avoid being shut out here. Line up and the pitch is down low. A one and O count. Swinging strike. So no hitter broken up there by Cal Holland. Four to the set. Up high, two and one. To the set, fouled away. Two and two. Leg lift and the pitch, strike three. And Lehman goes down looking, that'll bring up Evan Park. Leg lift and the pitch, fouled away, 0-1. the set in there for a strike 0 and 2 Schwar to deal hit in the air foul out of play Shore awaits the sign. Leg lift and the pitch upstairs. One and two. To the set. That is down low and it gets by the catcher. Another run will score for the Hillers. The first run of the game is done. Donahue comes around on the wild pitch. A 10 to one game. Cal Holland advances the third. Swinging strike. Park goes down for the second out. Bring up Messier. Down 
Down low gets by the catcher and it's 10 to two. Two wild pitches lead to two runs for the Hillers. Leg lift and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul. 0 and 1. 1 and 1, excuse me. Shore nods at the sign and deals just high. 2 and 1. Leg left and the pitch, ball tip, two and two. Shore gets the sign and deals. Upstairs. Or kind of all over the place this inning. And that's foul tipped. A lot of good battles in this inning by Hiller's hitters. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike. Three strikeouts in the inning by Ryan Shore, but two Hillers runs get across. It's 10 to two, heading to the top of the sixth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Visit them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. Top half of the sixth inning, Chris McGrory, the new first baseman at the plate for Medfield to face Mohammed Hussein. Hussein's in his third inning of work and has pitched pretty good in relief of Alex Cohen. First pitch is a strike, 0 and 1. After McGrory, George Sawan and Peter Vigentic do up for Medfield as there's another strike. 0 and 2. The Hillers scored a couple runs in the bottom of the fifth to Avoid being in danger of the mercy as that pitch down low. Both runs scored on a pair of wild pitches by Schwar. Swinging strike and there's one away. That'll bring up George Swan. The center fielder, and so far on the day, one for two with a walk. Scored a run in the third after a single. That pitch down low. One and oh. I think the Hillers, they might have found their third starter here with Muhammad Hussain. He's pitching pretty good against a very good midfield lineup. Is that pitch outside, two and oh. Line up and the pitch. Inside, three and oh. Hussein to the set. There's a strike. 
Our next HCAM broadcast will be softball against Norton. Softball team off to a very good start. We're five and one heading into today as that pitch foul tipped. Three and two. Sane gets the sign and deals, and this is hit in the air towards left field, going towards the fence. That's off the fence and gone. A solo shot. George Sawan goes yard. It's 11 to 2, Medfield. That's Swan's second home run of the season. Now I'll bring up Peter Vigentic. This is on the ground, up the middle. That's in the center field for a base hit. Now James Voss will come to the play. Zane deals, foul tip, 0 oh and 1. <laughs> to the set, outside. Hussein deals in there for a strike. One and two. And this is hit in the left field and will fall into the glove of Alex Reynolds. Two away. Vigentic stays at first. That'll bring up Jarrett Lee, who is having a great day at the plate. Three for three with a walk. Chance here to put Medfield back up by 10. That pitch up high. One and O. Oh. Hussein set to deal on the ground and off the glove of Hussein. He recovers nicely. Throw to first is in time. And we will head to the bottom of the sixth. It is an 11-2 lead for Medfield of the sixth inning. Stepping to the plate for the Hillers is a pinch hitter, Jack Nealon. Line up and the pitch is in there for a strike. Jack Nealon's a junior. It's his second time at the plate, 0 for 1 so far. And that's foul tipped, 0 and 2. Ryan Schwar still out there for Medfield. Schwar delivers. That's tipped into the backstop. Count remains 0-2. Well, I guess the uh, good part of this game is you get some of the young guys some at-bats off a talented pitcher. The leg lift and the pitch. That's a ball, 1-2. Those of you just joining us, it's 11-2 Medfield in the bottom of the sixth. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. And it's Little League Day here at the Hopkinton Hillers High School game. 
Leg lift and the pitch. And there's strike three. Nealon goes down looking and that will bring up Jack Vicari. And there's going to be some position changes in the seventh, that's for sure. Schwartz shakes off the side and deals down low. One and O oh to Vicari, who's 0 oh for two today. First Hiller's hit of the game came last inning, a Cal Holland single. And then Donahue who walked before, as that is a liner for the second out to the third baseman, Peter Vigentic, and there's two away. Donahue walked to start off the inning, stole a bag, Cal Holland hit the single, and then both would score off of two different wild pitches by Shore. Matt Decina at the plate. On the ground, first base side, and foul. Oh, and one. Shore to the set. Deals. Upstairs. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. That's hit foul. One and two on to Cena. Time called. Shore to the set. That is hit in the air, fall territory, and coming out from behind the plate to make the catch is Will Bento. That is the third out of the bottom of the sixth. The Hillers go down, one, two, three. We head to the top of the seventh, 11 to two. Medfield leading Hopkinton. Top half of the seventh inning, a handful of position changes for the Hillers, excuse me there. New pitcher, Matt Decina. He moves over from shortstop. The new shortstop is Jack Vicari. Muhammad Hussein stays in the game. He's playing third base. Cal Holland, still your first baseman. Over at second base, Jack Nealon. And left field, Sam Lehman. Drew Donahue remains in center. Drew Simi remains in right field. Due up for Medfield, London Johnson, Dean Adams, and Josh Hirschfeld. As Matt Decina will get his first appearance on the mound so far this season. And he's come in to pitch a few times in his Legion days and also in his high school career. Does have a pretty good arm. Not really known for his pitching ability, but has got the job done before. And right now the Hiller is still kind of looking for an answer to fill that third or fourth slot. Muhammad Hussain did have a pretty good outing. He went three innings, giving up five hits, three runs, all of them earned, had two strikeouts. There is potential there for the junior, that's for sure. He has some great movement on his breaking balls. Cena will deliver down low. One and oh on Johnson. Line up and the pitch. That's down low, two and oh. Cena with the leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike. 
two and one. <laughs> Excuse me. That's fouled away, two and two. Well, this is a tough game for the Hillers. Midfield, their lineup just too potent. Of course, one of the uh, problems was you had your third starter going as this is up the middle and it is handled by the diving Jack Vicari with a beauty of a throw to first. A nice job by Vicari flashing the leather to get the first out. That'll bring up Dean Adams. I think Vicari has shown he could play shortstop just from that play. That pitch inside, 1-0. Oh. Tough game for the Hillers, but there's some positives here. You get some young guys in there. You get Muhammad Hussein and Matt Decina some pitching experience. Hussein looked pretty good from the mound. Certainly had glimpses of being a pitcher you could work with. And that is going to hit the batter. Dean Adams taking one for the team, gets the free pass to first, and that'll bring up Josh Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld is two for four. Takes strike one. Line up and the pitch in there for a strike. Brian Sieglitz is due up to pinch hit for Medfield. Outside, one and two. Runner on, one out. Decina set to deliver. In the dirt, good cover up by Messier. Throw down a second is not going to be in time. A stolen base for Adams. Line up in the pitch. Hit in the air, foul out of play. Two and two. This game nearly two hours old so far. The Hillers, it might feel a little bit longer. They had a couple struggles in this game. A little bloop shot, takes a couple hops on the infield grass. Third base side, throw to first is going to be in time. Nice job by Hussein, throw it across the diamond. Five to three, Adams pushes up to third. I'll bring up Ryan, Sh the pinch hitter actually. Brian Sieglitz, the pinch hit for the pitcher, Ryan Schwar. First pitch of ball. Cena set to deliver. Swinging strike, one and one. Cena to the set, swinging strike, one and two. Good stuff from Decina, showing off the fastball. Who knows, maybe he's your third starter. And there's strike three. A scoreless inning pitched by Matt Decina and we head to the bottom of the seventh. It's 11 to two in favor of Medfield. Nate Wilson, who came in the, to play right field in the bottom of the sixth is the hitter. As we enter the bottom half of the seventh inning, Ryan Schwar going for the complete game. It's an 11 to two Medfield lead. Nate Wilson, Drew Donahue, Kel Holland do up for the Hillers. 
Swinging strike. We'll see if those three stick. By the looks of things, it doesn't look like Donahue will hit next. Shore is set to deal. Fouled away. Oh and two. Shore awaits the sign and delivers. Strike three, one away. That'll bring up Greg Holler. Entering the game to bat for Drew Donahue. It's Holler's 10th appearance at the plate, one for nine so far. On the ground, right side, fielded by the second baseman, throw to first, two away. Four to three. Time called is Kelvin. And now it looks like uh, Coach Golden heading out. A little distraction going on in the outfield, it looks like. We also have a new hitter at the plate. It's Tom Wunzi batting for Cal Holland. And Onzi will take a ball. So everybody's gotten a taste of this game for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch up high. Sure, one out away from the complete game. To the set. There's a strike, one and one. <laughs> Time called as Onzi steps out. Now Will Bento will talk to pitcher Ryan Shore. Line up and the pitch, strike. One strike away from the complete game is Ryan Shore. On the ground and will be fielded by the shortstop. Throw to first, it's bobbled. Game not over yet. And that is going to allow Onsi to reach on the error. And now a pinch hitter, uh, Sam Lehman, staying in the game to hit. There's a strike. Shore set to deal. One and one. Upstairs, two and one. Shore shakes off the sign. Leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike. Two and two. 
Don't forget to get a copy of any of the games on HCAM or our broadcast. Check us out online, hcam.tv, or call us, 508-435-7887. As a little foul tip is out of play. Two and two count. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike, and that'll do it. Medfield walks away with the 11 to two victory. And they improved to six and two on the season. The Hillers fall to two and five. A tough loss for the Hillers. Medfield just took control and never let go. Let's take a look at the final stats. Ryan Schwar goes the complete game only gave up one hit, two runs, both scored on wild pitches in the fifth for the Hillers. One walk and eight strikeouts. You're losing pitcher Alex Cohen went three innings, giving up nine hits, eight runs, seven earned, one walk, two strikeouts. Muhammad Hussein came in in relief for the fourth. He lasted three innings, giving up five hits, three runs, all three earned, had two strikeouts, and Matt Decina finished off the seventh. Striking out one and getting through the inning did hit a batter. But a good win for the Medfield Warriors. Great game pitch by Ryan Schwar. And the bats came alive early. Two runs in the first inning scored for Medfield as Jarrett Lee and Dean Adams both came across. Dean Adams drove in Jarrett Lee with the RBI single. And then Lee would score uh, later in the inning. That pass ball would help that effort. And then four more runs by Medfield in the second as they just rallied. Uh, Vigentic started off the inning with a single. Voss, another single. Jarrett Lee hit an RBI single. Then, an, uh, then a fly out by London Johnson. Dean, Ad Dean Adams would then hit an RBI single, followed by a Hirschfeld RBI single. And then a Ryan Schwar sacrifice RBI fly out for the fourth run of the inning to make it 6 to nothing. And then a two RBI double drove in George Sawan and Jarrett Lee in the third. And at that point, it was 8 0. Medfield just simply did not look back. They would put up two more runs in the fifth, one in the sixth, but they walk away with this victory pretty easily over the Hopkinton Hillers. But this game was certainly a learning experience. The Hillers, they got some young players in there, they got them some experience. They got Potentially another start with Muhammad Hussein, so it wasn't all bad here for the Hillers. Just simply a learning process uh, against a very experienced and talented Medfield ball club. So that will wrap up coverage of Hopkinton Hillers baseball on HCAM. Once again, the final score for the final time, the Medfield Warriors knock off the Hopkinton Hillers 11-2. Medfield had 15 hits in the game, no errors. The Hillers, they had one hit and one error as they put up two runs. 11 to two, your final Medfield over Hopkinton. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us on this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Baseball.